This is Kenpo Orange Belt. Tonight we're going to look at uh, Crashing Elbows and Bridge. Uh, crashing Elbow is a lot like the Pagoda Grab, or sorry, the Cutting Pagoda. It's very similar. It's again, instead of from the top, it's from the straight. It's, it's the same basic idea of getting out of the way of the strike and attacking in a different direction. Uh, bridge is a good one. Uh, bridge is complicated. Bridge has a lot of things going on to it. It's one of the originals that Ed Parker did back in the 50s. There's some lovely videos of him doing it. Um, it's a little more complicated than he did it. There's like one or two extra strikes. Again, people look at Kempo and they say, oh my god, that's, that's too complicated. Why would I do all those things? Again, the first thing may work. That's fine if it works. But if it doesn't, know the second, know the third, know the fourth. Know the sequel, you know, know the, know the sequence that you can go through and say, aha, if one didn't work, I can do another. Or if you have to skip one and go right to the next one, you can do that too. Again, these are principles that you can plug and play as you go through the style and start realizing, oh, I could put this in here if I need to. So, we're going to start with uh, the crashing elbow and bridge. Tempo orange belt, crashing elbow. This is from a punch, inward block, strike, back fist kidney out. Side, inward block, elbow, back fist kidney Alright, combat speed. Hunt, fight! It's fast, isn't it? Alright, let's talk about why it's fast, because we're already moving. Alright, so when she punches, the big thing is, is I'm doing this. Now, if you step straight into the punch, you're gonna die! <laughs> like, that's a bad thing. So, we're not stepping straight in. As she steps straight in, we step slightly off. And just like any good boxer, any good fighter, we're gonna slip the punch. Get your head out of the way. You might miss that block. It's a good inward block. Or even a fast inward block. Boom. Either way, whatever you can get, move your head just in case. Now I'm already turned my body. So I'm, there's the wind up and here is the strike. And again, strike all the way through, so I wind up, and boom, strike to the back. Where are the kidneys? The kidneys, to make them hurt, are in this area. If you hit here, those shoulder blade won't hurt. If you hit here, especially on a fat guy like me, that's a love handle. You can smack my fat all day, and I'm not gonna like it. What if you miss? It's a fight, oh my goodness, you didn't target correctly. Fine, it doesn't matter. Hit them, do something. Smack them and get out. But if you can, Aim for the kidney because if you get a solid shot on it, they will feel it from the side. So again, I've got this. I've slipped, slipped my head just in case. Push that elbow all the way through those short ribs and then all the way back here. Boom. And then back out. Yeah, my legs. Yeah. That's it. So where am I hitting? Again, right in here. Right there in those short ribs. It hurts. All right. This is an excellent move for a small versus a big person. For the simple reason that, again, she's going after my ribs and she can get up under those really easy. All right, so we'll try a small versus a big. Right hand punch. Then we're block. You ready? Good. Very good. Oh, I got a bit. Let's do the other side. Oh, God, that hurts. I don't like that. None of that's fun. And it's definitely going to slow me down and make me think, Ooh, maybe I don't want to punch this person. In any case, whether the strikes work or not, I want you to, I'm going to punch you. I'm going to punch you. Now, your goal is to slip your head and do the block. Everything else is straight up. Okay? As long as you prevent yourself from being punched, you won. You ready? All right. Ugh. Yeah, you were worried about that. You're on the other side. I'm gonna punch you. Oh, yeah, good pal. That was my love handle you said. Can't hear that all day. But does it stay? Yes. Do I like it? No. And are you fighting me face to face? Uh, no, you're not. You're fighting me back here. I have to turn and do something. In which case you can run, get away, <laughs> kick me, whatever you gotta do. Yes. So one more time. As you punch, remember, slide and get your whole body to the side. Go, go. Boom, boom. Yeah. 
Let's talk about, real quick, she's holding her hand out. She's being real nice. Everybody's saying right now, like, I can hear him. I can hear him in the internet land. They're saying, ah, nobody stands and, you know, punches and leaves her hand out. They're going to pull it back. Okay. Punch like you would and pull your hand back. <laughs> Did it help you? Uh, Not really. Eh? Punch my face. Ah. <laughs> I still hurt my ribs. On the other side. <laughs> so you pulled your hand back. How'd that work out for you? Nope. You have to be fast. You have to be able to do this quickly. You have to practice this. Right? So that is the downside of the system. To make it work against a punch that's properly retracted, you've got to be fast and you've got to know this move. But, let's be honest. If they're going to punch at you and you're going to respond with anything, you better have practiced it. You better know your move. You better know the counter. Just as anything. If you were to counter with that and a cross versus a counter with that and that, either way, you still got to practice. So, crashing elbows. Thank you. Kempo Orange Belt Bridge. This is yet another one where they grip us from behind. As I've said before, and people still don't listen to me, what are they doing here? They could be pushing me out of the way. Shove me into a wall. They could be pulling me back to their van. Come with me, little kid. They could be choking me. Now, real talk, she's too small to choke me with two hands. I'm not. I can choke it pretty darn good. So understand that what might not work for you may very well work for someone else. In any case, it doesn't matter because I'm going to get a hand on those thumbs and make things happen. You ready? So again, she's grabbed me. I'm going to step forward. And I'm going to pull her to me. Just like that. I've got a hand of thumbs. I'm going to break this down. Extend, break. I'm going to step under. Just like this. From here, I've got the arms twisted. I'm going to kick the inside of the knee as I step forward, and I'm going to pull this against this and break it. Just like that. Hammer fist the groin. And away as I go. Other side. Let's do combat speed. Knock me off my feet. <laughs> You just knocked me off my feet. Push me, pull me, knock me off my feet. Ah, it's ugly now. But as soon as I get the hands, what happens? Ah. Boom. Doom. Oh no, I messed up. That's okay. Now, this is what I was talking about. I messed up. The first break didn't really happen. So you go on to the next thing, and the next thing, and the next thing, and the next thing. That is why we have multiple stages of this move. All right, I've already shown that I can choke you from this. So, let's work big bird roll. All right, big V roll. Ah, good, right. <laughs> and a bird strike. Yeah, there you go. Here, do that again. Get it all, all the meat and tapes in there. Right. Snap it, and, ah, there you go. And out you go, this. I'm gonna choke you. So, what are you gonna do? You're gonna grab. Don't let you. That's right, you're gonna grab those thumbs, drop down the turtle, right? You ready? Good. Let's talk about each move real quick. As she's got me, I grab here and I pull forward. There's a break right there. As I come here, there's a break right there. You feel that? Yeah. There is a snap kick in there. That's no fun. And then that strike. So, one more time. Nice and smooth. Grip. Pull. We come here. We break. Snap. Strike. And out. So this was Kimbo Orange Belt with Crashing Elbows and Bridge. Uh, both of these are fun. I really like bridge. It's an older one of the moves. It goes back to, you know, when Parker was really doing the stuff in the 50s, and you can see some of uh, the, the evolution of it. You can still see it and go, what I did versus what he did. It's like, ooh, that looks pretty cool. If you're like, I don't like it because it's too complicated. Okay, cool. 
Do one part of it. Do two parts of it. Do part of it, you know. But do something if you're getting grabbed from behind. Uh, same thing with crashing elbow. I really like that one. It's straightforward. It's a, it's a good way to practice that, that tap and get your head out of the way, that slide out of the way. That's the most important thing because if they're not hitting you, you have a chance. If they punch you in the face, well, everybody's battle plan changes once they get hit in the face. All right, practice that. If you still don't like it, well, come to class. We'll work on it. Other than that, stay safe. Thanks.